Hi, welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I'm going to explain you the first few steps of data analysis. As a part of financial data analysis, you may have sourced data from uh, different uh, sources like a Bombay Stock Exchange, National Stock Exchange, or finance.yahoo.com. So in my previous lectures, I explained you how to download data from these sources. Now, when you download the data, you will get all the data in CSV file format, whether it is a stock prices or market index values. Now, before running any analysis, we have to clean the data and visualize to identify certain issues in the data. So when you retrieve a data or download data from data sources, the possibility is that there may be redundancy in the data. There may be a few uh, missed values in the data then there may be extreme values in the data. So before running analysis, you have to verify this. This process we call as cleaning and visualizing the data. Now I'll show you how to clean and visualize stock prices downloaded from Bombay Stock Exchange of India. Here are the trade values and price values of Sun Pharmaceutical Company for a period of a one year and which I downloaded this from Bombay Stock Exchange of India. So when I downloaded this, this is in a CSV file format that is comma separated values file format. Now the first thing that you need to do is convert this CSV file to the Excel file because in a CSV file, sometimes you may not be able to perform a high ended statistical analysis or financial analysis. So it is better to convert the CSV file to a Excel file format. How is that we are going to do is click on a file, then click save as and select the place you want to uh, save this file. Let us say I want to download this in a desktop. So here save as type already it is in a CSV file format. Now change this to Excel workbook. Then click on save. Now this file is in a Excel workbook format. The first thing is you will find some hashes here. So that means you need to make adjustment to the column width, not only with the date format here. So here even the names or the headers of the each column is also not aligned properly. So that means you have to adjust the column width. To adjust the column width, click on the dot triangle here onto the left side corner, which is between uh, column name and row number. So once you click this, this is the sheet selection tool. So once you select the sheet, then place your cursor on the column divider line that is between A and B. Here is a line. And uh, once you place your cursor here, it transforms to a, a black plus icon. Now double click on this. Now you can see that the data is adjusted. So this is the first thing. Second is that in Excel, when you move the rows, and it moves from beginning that is uh, you are even if you see that now you have a header row here which indicates your uh, variable names that is a date open price high price and all now if you move your rows automatically you will not see the header file here so first thing is to uh, to have a convenience now freeze this one to freeze the first row click on a uh, second row and go to view then you will find a freeze panes. Click on a freeze panes and a freezer top row. Because the variable names are in first row, I freeze it the first row. If you have a two, three rows data there, then you can see to that particular row. Now, once you freeze it the row, now if you scroll down also, your headers will remain constant. This is the first thing. Second is observe that whether your data is in chronological order or a reverse chronological order. That means your data is in the oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Here if you see here, this is 31st August 2020 and uh, scroll down and your data is uh, September 2019. That means here your data is in newest to oldest. So we'll sort this one first. To sort this, select all the variables in your data set. Then go to data. That is a click on a data tab here. Then here you will find a sort option. Click on the sort. 
then my data as a headers so just verify that whether this uh, is checked or not so if it, this is checked then automatically your uh, sort by columns will have a names so my data as a headers then sort by date so we want to data to be sorted by date so click on a date then here you have a oldest to newest that means old date first and a new date at the end so click ok now you will see the data is from 3rd September 2019 to 31st August 2020 so the data is now in a chronological order that means oldest to the newest this is the second one and then next is you have to see whether there is any redundancy in your data as you collected data on a date basis sometimes the databases may record the same data or for a two time periods that means let us say there is a possibility that 3rd September data is recorded twice or any data may be recorded twice now to avoid this to retain only unique values you have to remove the duplicate values here for that what is that you need to do is once again select all the variables in the same data there is something called as remove duplicates so here this is in the data tools you will find the remove duplicates click on the remove duplicates then first unselect all because you don't want to uh, remove the duplicates from all the variables because the stock prices may be same in a different time periods so we don't want to remove all those we, we want to remove only the date whether data is entered twice in a uh, on a particular date so unselect all now select the date that means you are trying to remove the duplicates based on a date and click ok now no duplicate values form so in this case there are no duplicate values so that means you have a, all the unique records only click ok now once you remove the uh, duplicates then next is to see that whether there are any blank values in your data set in the sense sometimes the uh, the data may be not entered properly or there may be a missing values so for that what is that you need to do is select all your variables press ctrl c this is to copy then a place here then ctrl v to paste all right now here what is that you do is as you want to check whether there are any blanks here in your data set use excel function called as a count blank now to find out the uh, blank cells type equal to count blank then select your date that is a, a first column then press enter key then shift and down arrow so the total data for the date column is selected close the bracket press enter key now you see that there are no blank values in a date column now copy this and paste it in a open price then uh, close price then high price then close price then weighted average price likewise you just copy for all the variables and now you see that there are no blank cells in your data set once you are done with cleaning of a data now you need to visualize the data normally in stock analysis we perform analysis on close price so select the date and then hold the control key and select the close price copy these two columns and paste them in a new worksheet so here in a new worksheet you will have a date and a close price now simply click on a b column where you have close price is there then click on insert and then click on a line chart in the charts ribbon click on a line chart so here you have a line chart for this particular here you have a line chart of a close price of sun pharma and by drawing this line chart you will be able to see whether there are any extreme values in your data set as visible here you don't see any extreme values in your data set so this is a visualization process once you are done with the cleaning process and the visualization process save your file 
Now, as you don't find any errors or discrepancies in your data, whether your data doesn't have any duplicate values, nor the blank values, nor the uh, extreme values are there. So it appears that your data is clean and you can perform calculations on this particular data. If at all there are any extreme values in your data set, the, uh, the extreme values may happen because of a stock split or a bonus issue or a wrong entry in a data. In such scenario, you have to make adjustment to the data and then proceed for a further analysis. So in this case, we as we didn't see any errors in our data, we can directly proceed for a data analysis. In my next lecture, I'll explain you how to perform basic uh, analysis on a close price of a particular stock. Thank you.